breaking news tonight. A lot of people talking about this. Did you hear that loud boom in the sky tonight? A lot of people across central Indiana did hear it. This, I'd argue, was not on the radar for most people. Look, how unusual is it for a meteor to make such loud noise? First, first off, and why this time? Air solar eclipse plunge part of Australia's northwest coast into brief midday darkness today. Parts of Australia and Southeast Asia witnessed a rare cosmic event today, a solar eclipse where the moon blacked out the sun. But only one place in the world got the full effect. A rare hybrid eclipse with a one in 400 year ring of fire. The moon covering the sun for 62 dark seconds they call totality. Historic enough for live TV broadcast by Channel 7 in WA. Uh, they said it was going to be like a moonlit night. <laughs> and an emotional one for the enthusiasts. We've got such little time, just try and take it all in. The, the sunset, the, the planets, the, the actual... There's like a so sparkle around... Um, sparkle, sorry, can you give me a minute? Um, you're a bit emotional. Y yeah. Oh, my God. That is... That is the most incredible thing I've seen. It is just absolutely stunning. You know, everybody says that total eclipses of the sun are rare, but they really aren't. They happen somewhere on the surface of the Earth, on average about once every 18 months. However, for a specific place on the Earth's surface, for let's say a specific city, that's something totally different. A flash of bright light that lit up the night sky above Ukraine has led to confusion and speculation about what caused it. Authorities said an unknown aerial object had fallen from the sky around Kyiv on Wednesday night, forcing an air alert to be announced for the surrounding region. However, it was later clarified that the possible use of an airstrike missile was not confirmed. Residents and top officials appear to enjoy speculating that the flash could be unrelated to war. The head of President Zelensky's office jokingly posted an emoji of a UFO, and a spokesperson for Ukraine's Air Force suggested a meteorite may have entered Earth's atmosphere. With Phil Sanchez, starts now. There it is. Right now at 11 o'clock, the sound of a meteor. Uh, this is footage from uh, Jennifer Perkins, one of our viewers from Pittsburgh. And the American Meteor Society has received Indiana, received rather uh, reports of the fireball in a number of places all across Indiana. Uh, Storm track meteorologist uh, David James is joining us now with everything we need to know, David. Yeah, kind of like lightning. I saw the flash, and then it took a while till you heard the actual noise. So they must have been looking north towards Delphi mm -hmm. in order to see that flash. We're hearing and seeing new video after a loud boom was heard across parts of central Indiana. We heard from people living in Hamilton, Hendricks, Tipton and Madison counties reporting a bright light and then a massive boom that shook buildings and homes. EMA tells us the current theory is that a meteor caused a sonic boom. Now in Cicero, Matt Beeson's doorbell camera caught a quick streak of light across the sky. Kelly Kyle shared this snippet of bright flash outside of their home in Westfield and Michelle Hurst also caught a glimpse of the streak. We're getting several calls from you, emails about this, Facebook comments, pretty much in any way you can. You've been asking us what's going on out there. A sudden loud explosion in the air, well, it can be familiar, yet worrying event. And yesterday afternoon, many of us here in central Israel, we suddenly looked around at each other as some heavy yet distant booms broke the afternoon quiet. This time, though, turned out to be a meteor breaking up in the atmosphere as it traveled northeast over our skies. It was unusually bright and loud, I can attest. The Israeli Astronomical Association said it received reports of that meteor being visible for, well, several seconds, despite the loud noise that it made. Now we're Good morning, 5.30 on the dot is your time on this Tuesday. A Taco Tuesday. We love a good Taco Tuesday. We absolutely do. And we love a good Taco Tuesday that we can maybe have on a patio. It yeah. makes it like three times better. Yeah, it's three times better. How about four times better because it's National Barbershop Quartet Day. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Can we get one of those hello. to sing to us while we eat tacos? <laughs> and then have a well, this week, thousands of people flock to a remote area of Australia, all to catch a rare glimpse, a version of a solar eclipse, but if you missed it, more is on the way. This time around, it's Australia's turn, but 
But in less than a year, on Monday, and put this down on your calendar, Monday, April 8th, 2024, it will be the United States turn again. And in this case, unlike this eclipse coming up later this week, where it only lasts for about 60 seconds, in many cases, totality next year in the U.S. will last anywhere from three and a quarter to as much as four and a half minutes. It's going to be, as far as eclipses are concerned, a major, major event.